Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Allotment of the Dead. So uh, we had a nice trip out to Gardener's World Live yesterday and I was quite reserved in the fact that I didn't really buy much in the way of plants. Um, I managed to <laughs> really rein myself in. I mean I could have bought so much. That being said to me, it didn't seem like there was a massive variety yesterday of different plants, um, at least not ones I was interested in. Um, so I ended up buying kind of some, again, some of the weirder plants that you would normally probably not buy. Um, I was still looking for chilies. Uh, went to the Robinsons um, stand, which was just inside the uh, marquee tent. Um, they do a fantastic variety of different seeds and different vegetables, um, plants-wise as well. Um, they do you know, a really wide variety of different plants. So I had a good look, and all of the um, chili varieties I already had. So I thought I'm not going to get any of those. Um, but I did come across this little fella here. So it doesn't look much it looks a bit of a kind of a weird weedy kind of looking plant um, it's got these kind of heart shaped leaves on them and um, I took a look at the label and I thought okay I've seen that before and I've looked at this plant before but I've not really jumped in with both feet and gone okay let's give it a go so in the end I said okay I'm gonna give it a go so that's kind of what I've done so this plant here is one that is considered to be one of the most difficult plants in the world to cultivate and the reason being is because it is quite uh, needy when it comes to the kind of environment it needs so it generally doesn't like a really massively hot temperature so I might be making a mistake putting it in here. Um, it likes humidity, which it will get in here. But it, again, it doesn't like the uh, the hot sun on it. So I've had to really think how long and hard as to where to put it. Um, and I thought that this might be the ideal place because I think in this aubergine house, I might have a little leak um, in the roof here which is means that this entire space, um, kind of a little square here, is wet pretty much all the time. Um, which again is something that this needs. So this is a wasabi plant. So the wasabi is um, also known as Japanese horseradish and it is also that particular fiery kind of vegetable that you can have with your sushi and your, your fish and that sort of thing um, so again it kind of fits right up my alley and uh, an unusual thing of what to grow but um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna have much luck we'll see um, the other thing about this plant is that they say it needs running water uh, to do really really well and it's not gonna get running water here it's gonna be moist pretty much all the time but it's not gonna have that running water going through it because it usually lives on the side of riverbeds um, so this couldn't be any further from a riverbed right so we'll give it a go anyway um, so as I say um, this is kind of well cultivated soil it's had the um, previous hotbed turned out in here so pretty much all of this uh, soil in here is going to be quite well um, infused with organic matter so that kind of uh, cow manure, horse manure that uh, was in that hotbed before is all now in here. Um, so we'll, we'll plant it as we would anything else and uh, we'll see what happens. As with everything I tend to plant. So, uh, okay, we'll use the, uh, the hand. So this particular soil is all moist now. Absolutely, uh, root bed wide, root bound in the pot so hopefully that should hopefully spread out amongst the uh, the soil here quite well quite readily and 
it's the stems of this that you can eat um, also the leaves um, you can put into things like um, salads and things like that um, so again it's gone in not overthinking it it's gonna have its nice label um, put into large pots or moist conditions outside keep moist after planting and during summer months frost hardy uh, leaves used to add spice to salads stems grated for spice in Japanese cooking so again I don't cook a lot of Japanese food I, I do do a lot of Chinese food uh, but who knows this might be the start of something new for me so we'll see how that goes right so that's my wasabi plant all nicely planted and uh, the other plants that I did buy um, I'll put those in a video a bit later on and um, planting those up but um, yeah I didn't buy many the only other thing I really bought was um, a Szechuan pepper plant which again is a nice little plant take about three years to uh, grow to where it's going to start giving me Szechuan peppers but um, as they say Rome was built in a day so it's worthwhile um, looking out for something new so that's kind of where we are so wasabi is now there all nicely planted wish me luck um, I'm gonna need it um, in terms of actual price of this plant so this was quite cheap it's kind of six pounds I think it was when I bought it um, the actual wasabi root uh, retails for about probably about a hundred pound um, a kilogram so uh, quite expensive so uh, yeah let's see how it goes right just a quick one then all the best guys take care bye bye